this point, boys, it's personal. It's definitely personal. Welcome back to Wheel of Mutt's Ghost of Mutt have dropped, and guess who doesn't have a car? Dude, it, it literally has to be personal. It doesn't make any sense. Keith Smith just got his third car, okay? Keith Smith is a fullback. Harold Carmichael has gotten two wide receivers and one linebacker before Nick Bosa got one card. Julius Peppers got his third card. Three Archer got a card. Andrew Luck's sitting on his third. Randy Moss is sitting on his fifth. There's no Nick Bosa. Now, I will say, I'm very excited for Ghost of Mutt. It's gonna be a sick promo, and I am recording this video before Christmas, so I can't open the Christmas presents yet. But damn, Nick Bosa may truly go down as the worst Wheel of Mutt prestige of all time. I can't believe it. By the way, he didn't get injured. It's not like he's having a spectacular season, but he's not having a bad season either. He's playing like an excellent edge rusher. That's that's it. He's a top 10 edge rusher. Let's talk about everything else, Wheel of Mud. I can't dwell on that. There's a lot to be excited about, such as we are 2-0 and to start right now. And yes, I'm back in Michigan for Christmas, so we got a little different set today. We have a bizarre backfield, but we do have tight end Vita Vea, who I have had so much fun using so far. We've got Singletary Najee Dak Prescott as our quarterback hatback. Weird. We got Michael Wilson, Elijah Moore, and Jamar as our wide receivers. Weird. We have a bum offensive line, although we did did add Panay Sewell at the end of last episode, and Elijah Wilkinson's in there. Defensively, I feel a lot better. Kyle Hamilton, absolute stud. Ray Lewis, prestige, absolute monster. Luke Keekley with Lurk Artist. Derwin James. Christian Gonzalez is an amazing card. Adrian Phillips has played great. And my D-line is just okay. My goal for today is to be offense-focused. We need better playmakers, either at halfback, wide receivers, or just stacking that offensive line, or even replacing Dak if it's possible. Honestly, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's let the wheel decide what we will or will not be able to upgrade today. The first wheel spin. Oh my God, we're doing this again. We're actually doing this again. Do you remember when I dissed Puka Nakua and I said, guys, I want him so bad, but I can't do it. I can't do it. I need Gonzalez. Well, we call this redemption, boys. Puka Nakua is getting added to this team, whether you like it or not. Let's go. Now, technically we could get any blitz player. And I'm sitting here talking about offense. And honestly, Puka Nakua is a card that I've wanted to use for a long, long time. And I've never gotten an opportunity to. 93 overall, 92 speed, excellent rap. He's just such a good card. Also, you guys probably saw, but I got to meet Puka. I played a game of Madden with him. He's so cool. This one's close to the heart. This guy's a dog, and I can't wait to see him on this offense. I'm gonna check his abilities, but I don't usually get my wide receiver's abilities anyway. Yeah, lots of abilities, but nothing that I would legitimately use here. We're gonna rock the stock Puka Nakua, 93 overall. Can't wait to use him, though. I'm gonna put Puka Nakua at wide receiver two, move Elijah Moore down to wide receiver three. I am also going to make my slot wide receiver be Puka Nakua. Right now, my slot wide receiver is Gronk, but yeah, Puka is probably better for that. Our first wheel spin gives us the limited blitz Puka Nakua. I've been looking for that card for a while. I'm happy to have it. Our second wheel spin. Pack a punch. Oh, who can be pack a punch on this team? Anybody? It's certainly not going to be Nick Bosa. That's who's not getting it. Fuck. Is Najee's best card that 89? It might be. Najee's best card is that. Singletary didn't get anybody, did he? Well, defensively, I could go Anthony Walker. I actually talked about that before. There's a 90 overall Anthony Walker with Lurk Artist. That's a really good option. What's the best Cam Chancellor card? No, he never got a new card, did he? He just has the base legend. So his isn't very fancy. Phillips is a no. Champ Bailey is another option. I think we go Anthony Walker, though. Keekley's already got Lurk Artist, so there's no reason to pack up on Chim. Champ Bailey would only get a plus three. Anthony Walker gets a plus 10 if we do that. We're bringing back most feared Anthony Walker. Little throwback to a few seasons ago. 105,000 coins for 90 overall most feared Anthony Walker. This was the first card in Mutt to get the new Lurk Artist ability. That's not true. It was Dave Robinson, but you know what? Merry Christmas. Lurk Artist Anthony Walker. In goes 90 overall Anthony Walker Jr. And we actually had one AP open on defense just waiting to get used. So that's perfect. We don't even got to adjust anything. So now we got Hamilton, Ray Lewis, Christian Gonzalez, Luke Keekley, Derwin James, and Anthony Walker with abilities on this defense. So a big offensive upgrade a big defensive upgrade takes us to our third and final wheel spin. What are you gonna do for me, baby? Rerolls? Ghost of Mud? Oh no. Oh no. Do I replace Dak right now? <laughs> I'm only saying no because I'm nervous to make this decision. So keep in mind, if you've never seen this promo before, they drop Ghosts of Mutt past, present, and future. For example, Randy Moss is a Ghost of Mutt past. Derrick Henry is a Ghost of Mutt present. Jordan Addison is a Ghost of Mutt future. I'm only allowed to get the present players, but I could get Derrick Henry. So the limited Derrick Henry. Here's the thing. I've got good running backs right now who can get the job done. But dude, low-key, I have been looking at the comments, and I think Titans fans are a little mad at me. Titans fans are a little mad at me. 
Henry. If I wanted to do the Titans fans a favor, I could go 94 Derrick Henry. Ooh, this card's disgusting too, dude. He's so fast. He's got so much acceleration, but he also has 96 break tackle. He's also 6'3", 255. Like, that's such an incredible card, but look who I'm passing up. If I go with that Derrick Henry, here's everybody I'm passing up. My alternatives would be number one, Justin Herbert, who's incredible. Hot Route Master, discounted gunslinger. Sam Laporte is nice, but he's a go some up future, so I can't get him anyway. Ryan Kelly, I could get. Beef up that offensive line. Rishi Rice, I could get, but my wide receivers are nice. Winfield, but I got Derwin James. I could get Diggs, but I got Dirt. No. No, honestly, I think the decision is made for me. Titans fans were so mad that I didn't take Derrick Henry quarterback. Well, guess what, Titans fans? Titans fans got Derrick Henry quarterback and halfback before I even sniffed. Nick Bosa. 1.1 million coins on 94 overall. Eric Henry. What offensive line is he going to run behind? That's not my problem. I don't give a shit what offensive line he runs behind. He's going to run somebody over. 94 overall, Derrick Henry. Let's take a look at these abilities. Now, I found this interesting. He gets discounted jukebox. I don't even want that on him. The juke is better without jukebox. I'm going to rock persistent, so he's harder to knock out of the zone. And these cards do have unique unstoppable X factors. He's got unstoppable backfield master. Unstoppable once activated. That's, that's low-key actually really nice because I don't have Hot Rod Master. So this is actually a really good ability. Angry Runs Go Some Mutt starts on for eight plays and you have a high chance to win your interaction versus the first defender. I'm going to run Angry Runs Go Some Mutt. That costs nothing. It starts the game on. Okay, so here's how it works. You get eight plays of this and then it deactivates. And if you want to reactivate it, I think you need two touchdowns. I think that's what that's saying right there. But eight plays of an insane Derrick Henry. Harder to knock out of the zone. I don't know how that helps. That would be if I ran Freight Train. If I ran Freight Train, I could run Persistent and then once I activate Freight Train, it'd be better. For now, I'm going to run Angry Runs. If I make my offensive line better and I keep this Derrick Henry, I'll probably switch it to Freight Train and just run Persistent for free. We're already using all our AP on offense, I'm pretty sure. Alright, Derrick Henry! Titans fans, you better shut the fuck up. Offensively right now, I actually have AP to spare. Let's give him Tank for 2 AP and I'm going to give him Recuperation. Two limiteds, Derrick Henry and Puka Nakua, as well as Andrew Anthony Walker, Lurk Artist, on the line here. Top three's got a new member. It's Derrick Henry. He's got... Oh, he's got Dre Archer, and he's got Vita Vea. Oh, my God, he's got Vita Vea honorary lineman. He's putting Vita Vea at fullback, and he's going to run with Dre Archer. Oh, my God, I love you, but I don't love you right now. It's still... The Christmas challenge wheel, meaning if I complete this, I can stack another Christmas present on my unopened... My challenge wheel is a monster, and it's a monster for four-minute quarters, too. But hey, I just added limited Puka Nakua. I need 175 yards receiving with one player. Uh, he just motioned out who? 87? Is that Gronk? Is that Vanguard Gronk? Oh, my God. Avalanche! What? Oh, I think his juke animation made that not downhill or something. That 100% was a downhill avalanche hit stick to me. He's got Vanguard Gronk. Dude, I love this guy. Vanguard Gronk and Vita Vea. Does he try the same thing? Speed option again? Or is he actually going to run a play here? Oh, flip the sides. Smart. He'll keep it with Vic this time, but he's risking a fumble every time he does that. I respect the speed option, though. All right, first and 10. We're containing. I'm ready for the speed option this time, I think. Yes, I am. Here's a different set. This one has Vita Vea in it. Second and 13. Wow. I 100% expected him to pass that on the RPO. All right, we're just going to go standard pass pro here. I don't expect another run. Not on this down and distance. Got to cover Vita. Oh, my God. It's another speed option. He'll bring it down inside. Nice tackle. Here we go. Another speed option. No. It's an actual pass this time. He goes Vita Vea. And he catches it. No! Oh my god, I'm playing myself. Dude, I got stuck on a D-tackle there. Otherwise, I might have been able to use that. This can still be speed option. It is. I'm on Kyle Hamilton, and I'm on Ray Lewis. He's got to be scared of that avalanche, right? RPO. Interesting. Oh my god. He actually got yards up. We're, we're containing Dre Archer really well right now. I will say that. Could maybe be speed option. Just a play action pass. Rifles it into Reed. They're getting hit hard, though. I think a, I think a turnover's coming. But how we turn him over, I don't know yet. Gunbud strong, nasty. That is a pass formation. Yeah, that's the RPO in it, actually. <laughs> no way. What? Something similar. He had Vita Vea, and that's a turnover, man. He just threw to my hands, and we didn't pick it off. That was the entire first quarter right there on that drive, and he was not chewing clock, just a long drive. I think he's going back to this RPO. Oh, I'm all over this. What a play, Durbin James. Blew up the block and the play. All right, I'm putting Bosa on a light blue. Couple light blues, guessing pass. Oh, no. 
I just guessed past fully. No! I can't even stop him here if I wanted to. He ran that so poorly too that I like could have stopped it had I not guessed past. I don't really know why I guessed past. That was just dumb. He um ran the ball a lot. No! Oh, he does shake his PAT. Alrighty, 6-0. I, I like his opening drive. I'm not going to clown on him, man. I, I thought that was pretty cool. Really nice kick return. Jamar! He's tackled at the 45. The only bad thing about that is our yards. I need 175 yards receiving with one player. So the max I can get on this drive is now 55. Do you think Gronk could take him here? I'm going to give Gronk a fucking free form. Oh my God, he fucked him. What a free form. That was beautiful, Dak. All right, Gronk's already got crazy yardage. Let's hand this off. Actually, no, that RPO's there. Puka Nakua. Who's on Derrick Henry? His user's on Derrick Henry. Nobody. What? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I was trying to be a dickhead and stiff arm him, and I just got... Oh, my God. Let's go, Derrick Henry. You were born for this shit. Behind Vita Vea. Go! <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot, bro. I'm 100% going for two. I've still got Derrick Henry's abilities. I don't want an RPO audible on this. Dude, because if I get this for two, he's forced to go for two again. I'm going inside zone, Derrick Henry. I don't care if he knows. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Well, I wonder, you know how that angry runs thing says to activate, you need two touchdowns? I wonder, does it count it if I if I get the touchdown while it's activated? Like if I were to get Derrick Henry a second touchdown now, does it just activate for the rest of the game? Also, I wonder if persistent lets it stay on for more plays. I should have checked. He's going to go read flat wheel. That's a great play. Vita Vea hangs on, dude. He knows about the sauce. This guy is the deepest playbook I've probably ever seen. That's play action, my bad. Oh, he wants this. Can I get to it? I can. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, my. Oh, no. I knew. I got there a, a millisecond late. He might go flat wheel again, and he'll go Vita Vea. No, just a straight handoff. Dude, it's such a diabolical offense. It's so nice. He's got Bo Jackson in now. This is different. He does hand off Bo. I go low on him, but damn, dude, he's getting great blocks too. Oh, that's a jet sweep. It is. Come on! Oh my god, Ray Lewis laid the hammer on a jet sweep. And look at this. The coverage is the same. We can bomb him. Wait for it. Wait for the release. Is it there? It is. Free form. Just out of his reach. Run! Cut! What? He's not in! Oh my god, I thought he was in. He, did he not dive forward into that? Gronk on the free form lead has got two now, so Gronk has 100 yards at least, or er, almost 100 yards. I'm going right back to big boy Derrick Henry. You can't stop him. Vita Vea leading the way for Derrick Henry. It's 14 to 6, and he's. I gotta say, I'm actually really sad that he quit. That was one of the coolest offenses I've seen in Wheel em Up so far. Unique, off meta, lots of fun different plays. The fumble is a bad beat. That's unlucky for him that he got the fumble. I don't know, I would have played that game out if I was him. He was gonna get the ball at half. Him missing that PAT was so massive. Because after that touchdown, I kick a PAT, I'm up by nine. That's a two possession lead. That's a really big difference. That extends our record to three and oh. Under normal circumstances, I would not count that game. I'd go play another. But I think, honestly, I think my team might be a little bit too good. I love building a super stacked Wheel of Mutt team. It is really fun, but I don't want to offset the balance of Wheel of Mutt. We're an 87 overall right now. I'm going to take my Rage Quit Wheel spin, and I'm going to add a present, but I'm not going to play another game. So let's start with the Rage Quit Wheel. We're going to get our Get Gooder Wheel right here. Damn, I should have played my phone. I'm homeless. Disgusting. Is that Team Wheel Jackpot? <gasps> Dude, we were a millisecond away from Team Wheel Jackpot. We can get one of any pack in the store that costs training. Best case scenario here is getting an offensive lineman. I still have silver offensive lineman. Low key, the mystery packs are pretty nice too, so let's take one of these. Our mystery pack is a pro playmaker pack. I like this. This has a lot of players in this. Pretty much just need a tackle. Ayuk does not help us. A team of the week. Damn, I have so many running backs on this team. Team of the week, Aaron Jones. Russ Yeast. Hello. Trey Smith, okay, I can use you, Trey Smith. Will Anderson, I could keep for a pack a punch. We get a Redux player. What? Draymond Jones. Get Buddha Baker. And lastly, Cedric Tillman. Okay, I guess I can put Trey Smith in. And honestly, Will Anderson on the bench is nice. He has a Ghost of Mutt 93 overall. So him just kind of sitting there waiting for a pack a punch will be really good. It's exactly why we kept Anthony Walker, and Anthony Walker paid off in today's episode. So, all right, Trey Smith, get on in there, buddy. No more silver right guard. Cedric Tillman's now my fourth string wide receiver. We're going to put the boy. Where's the boy? Will Anderson, you are literally going to sit on this bench in case I ever get pack a punch again. If I 
I get back a bunch again, you're gonna be a beauty. Not bad at all, gentlemen. Listen, I think we owe it to this lineup to stack the offensive line next episode if we can. This is one of the most diabolical run offenses I've ever been able to build. Vita Vea fullback slash tight end. Derrick Henry running back. I owe this team a good offensive line. This could be our season for the run game. It is 49ers season. They use McCaffrey a lot. Final thing we gotta do, of course, is grab one more mystery present. And thank God they finally added a snowflake shuffle. This should have been here for two weeks, but whatever. It's not like I spent four hours collecting snow. Four presents. Ooh, a thousand out the gate. Gates? Am I cracked like that? Wait a minute. That's all I need, actually. I only needed a thousand for a mystery present. Yeah, I, once again, I didn't complete my challenge wheel because they rage quit too quickly. But dude, I was on pace. I had a hundred yards with Gronk in the first half. I was on pace. All right, let's go with a mystery present here. One more added to the unopened that we'll get to open on next episode. And finally, my luck regresses. I get a simple present. Dude, I have like two of two of four of these that I've opened are lavish. All right, I'm going to give you guys a final overview before next episode where I will be opening all of my presents. I'm so excited. Simple blue, nice red, nice team of the week, nice legend. Simple gray, I have two of those. Two lavish blitz, probably. I hope they're not Puka Nakua or Christian Gonzalez. One lavish gold for 3,500 snowflakes. So this one's gotta be good. Hopefully it's Nick Bosa, right? Ah, fuck me. One simple, we got the lavish red. We got the lavish silver. We got the lavish white. And that's all we got. All right, boys, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. As always, I hope you enjoyed the semi-scuff wheel of Mutt from Michigan. Next one, I think, will also be from Michigan. Shit, never mind. I love you, boys. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I'll see you guys the next one. Peace!